the second word, today you will be with me in paradise. From John chapter 19, Pilate also wrote an inscription and put it on the cross. It read, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. Many of the Jews read this inscription, for the place where Jesus was crucified was near the city, and it was written in Aramaic, in Latin, and in Greek. So the chief priests of the Jews said to Pilate, Do not write the King of the Jews, but rather this man said, I am King of the Jews. Pilate answered, What I have written, I have written. When the soldiers had crucified Jesus, they took his garments and divided them into four parts, one part for each soldier, also his tunic. But the tunic was seamless, woven in one piece from top to bottom. So they said to one another, Let us not tear it, but cast lots for it to see whose it shall be. This was to fulfill the scripture which says, They divided my garments among them, and for my clothing they cast lots. So the soldiers did these things. From Matthew chapter 27, Then they sat down and kept watch over him there. From Luke chapter 23, And the people stood by watching, but the rulers scoffed at him, saying, He saved others, let him save himself, if he is the Christ of God, his chosen one. The soldiers also mocked him, coming up and offering him sour wine, and saying, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. There was also an inscription over him, This is the king of the Jews. One of the criminals who were hanged railed at him, saying, Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we are receiving the due reward of our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. And he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And he said to him, Truly I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. This is the word of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. On this Good Friday, may the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ bring you to true and godly repentance, which consists of sorrow and faith born of the gospel. Such repentance is exemplified for us today in the criminal who was hanged next to Christ. He acknowledged his sin and did not cover his iniquity. He confessed that he justly deserved his temporal punishment, that the cross was the due reward for his wicked deeds. You should likewise see in the cross how very serious your sins are and learn to be horrified by them. The pain and suffering endured by Jesus on the cross were wrought by your sin, and by your sin you deserved to endure them all. But the criminal did not just feel terror over his sin. He also believed in the forgiveness of sins for Jesus' sake. Through watching the crucifixion of Jesus, hearing the word of forgiveness that Jesus had just spoken to those who knew not what they were doing, and seeing the testimony inscribed over his head, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews, this criminal was brought to faith. He rebuked the blasphemy of his fellow robber. He confessed that Jesus was innocent and that he was indeed the King of the Jews. He believed in the resurrection, that Jesus would live again after being crucified and come into his kingdom. And he trusted that Jesus was gracious and merciful to remember him. Likewise, when your conscience has been struck by terror through the knowledge of your sin, then you must not fall into sheer despair. Rather, believe the good news that for Christ's sake your sins are forgiven. Believe that his wounds and his sufferings are your sins, born and paid by him on the cross. See that he did not save himself, but you, by remaining on the cross even to the point of death. Confess that he has redeemed you from all sin, from death, and from the power of the devil, with his innocent suffering and death, that you would live under him in his kingdom. 
know that all of your sins are swallowed up by Christ's resurrection and that his great love for his Father and for you and for all sinners motivated him to die and make full payment for your sins. Believe this, as the criminal did, at the word of Jesus himself. Truly I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Just as he proclaimed his first word from the cross, Jesus now proclaims in his second that he, the crucified Lord, is the source of forgiveness for all, even for the chief of sinners. Truly I say to you, he emphasizes, in order that you would not doubt his promise, but believe that his forgiveness, life, and salvation are truly intended to be received by you, no matter how many or how great your sins may be. Today, he says, not after a time in purgatory so as to achieve the holiness necessary to enter the joy of heaven, as is falsely taught by some, but in that very day, for faith justifies you in the moment. With me, he declares, therefore be certain that he will never leave you or forsake you, but is present with you always, even through death and unto the end of the age. And in paradise, he promises, a paradise that will never end. For while the paradise of Eden was wrecked and spoiled due to the sin of Adam, the paradise of God will never be ruined. For by his death, Jesus has brought justification and life to all. He has opened paradise to you, and he will grant you to eat of the tree of life for the sake of his death and resurrection. The crucifixion of our Lord Jesus Christ brought the criminal to true and godly repentance, that is, sorrow over his sins and faith in Christ alone for salvation. And his repentance was met with God's forgiveness. Though his sins were great, deserving the most severe civil punishment, Christ's mercy was greater, granting him the highest honor to be in his heavenly presence that very day. May your meditation on the crucifixion of your Lord Jesus Christ do the same for you today. For you, like the criminal, have been crucified with Christ. For all of you who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death. If you have been united with him in a death like his, you shall certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. Amen.